The most important formula in waves, sound, and light is the universal wave equation. The universal wave equation is V equals F lambda. The speed of a wave is equal to its frequency uh, times the wavelength. If you're not sure what frequency is, look at the previous video where I described frequency and period. Um, if you're not sure what lambda is, lambda is the wavelength from the top of a crest to the top of the next crest. Um, you can see a little bit more about uh, wavelength in one of the other videos on just basic wave terminology. So the speed of the wave is f lambda, f times lambda, or v is equal to lambda divided by t, t being the period in seconds. And we know that frequency and period are related. Frequency is one of our period. That's why this formula has frequency in the numerator, and this one has free, uh, period in the denominator. Okay, so here are my variables, speed, frequency in hertz, period in seconds, and lambda, the wavelength, would be in meters. So let's do a simple problem. I've got a wave traveling in, let's say, a pool, and I notice that I'm sitting there watching the waves, and 16 waves go by in two seconds. So I time them, and I look, and the waves are moving very quickly, 16 go by in two seconds. As soon as I hear something about how long it took for a number of things to happen, I'm thinking that information is period or frequency information. I'm also told that the waves were going at four meters per second, and I want to know the wavelength. Well, first thing we're going to do is write down what we're given. Uh, we're given that 16 waves, so the number of cycles equals 16. Uh, the time it took, not period, that's the time for the 16 cycles, is two seconds. I know that the speed of the wave is four meters per second. And I'm looking for uh, the wavelength. So, I look at this and I think, okay, I've got a formula V equals F lambda or V equals lambda over T. I decide I'm going to use V equals F lambda. I want to know the wavelength. I need the velocity or speed and I need the frequency. Well, I've got V, so I've got this number. It's the frequency I don't have. So before I solve for lambda, I've got to solve for frequency. So frequency is uh, in hertz. It's the number of cycles per second. So frequency is how many cycles divided by how many seconds. So it's going to be cycles divided by time. That gives me eight, and the units are hertz. So I now know the frequency. So I can plug into this equation, V equals F lambda. I know V is four. I know the frequency is eight, and I'm looking for lambda. Given that, I take the four. I say lambda is equal to four divided by eight. I divide both sides by 8, which is 0 0.5. The wavelength is 0 0.5, and the units, if I've used all the other units correctly, will be in meters. You can also use this equation, the universal wave equation, with your formula from kinematics, V equals D over T. So let me clean this up, and we'll do an example with that. 